It was cold and rainy, like any other night. The all too familiar smell of that stale cigarette stench lingered in the room. But something about this one was different. I couldn't put my finger on it. But when that door opened, he was immediately captivated. The look in his eyes, oh, that look in his eyes. It was as if he had just seen a goddess come down from the heavens. He couldn't keep those mangy eyes off my luscious lips. He just sat there, speechless. I walked toward him, and with each and every step, he salivated like a little puppy. He finally worked up the courage to say something. So what can I do for you, miss? Page. Veronica Page. I'm coming to you because my husband was murdered. Shot in my own living room. His cold, dead body just lay there with rose in hand. He was such a sweet man, always stopping to grab me a flower on his way home. It's an interesting story. Your husband, did he have any enemies? What a fool. Enemies? <laughs> I guess you could say that he followed the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies even closer, without even knowing it. Well, you see, my husband was a man in very high places. There are plenty of fellows who wanted his head. Well, why don't you walk me through what your husband did that night? He called me right before he left work and told me he was going to the bar. He believed every word I said, but why wouldn't he? He probably ordered a gin and tonic. I'll have a gin and tonic. Say, you seen this guy before? I see a lot of people. His face isn't familiar. Really? Because his wife says he's a regular. Nope. Never seen him. And what about his wife, Veronica? Look, buddy, a lot of girls come in here. <laughs> nah, nah. Five, nine, all legs, curves for miles, and hair gold, like the dying sun. Whoa, whoa, wait. Does she wear a red dress? Sounds like my girl. How'd you know? Guys have been coming in here asking about that broad for a while now. Well, what do you know about her? Go ask her yourself. She's right over there. He knew there was something wrong with the story, but didn't know what. There was no way I could tell him the truth. This game of cat and mouse was way too much fun. That's why we're here, tonight at a murder. My sister's place. It's a likely story. In town? No, Scarsboro. You can always tell by their eyes when they don't believe anything you're saying. But even still, they'll listen. They're too distracted by my beauty. But what's it matter? Let's talk about you and me. You gonna help me with this? Of course. I'm always willing to help a woman in distress. How about a drink? How about scotch? On the rocks? Always. So how'd you get into this line of work? I ain't always had a knack for figuring out puzzles. You know, it always came easy to me. Hey, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't get a rush out of putting away some of these deranged murders. You know, not all murders have to be deranged. Uh, the ones I deal with always, uh, you should hear somebody's motives. Money, drugs, revenge. Hey, but every now and then you get one of these truly psychotic souls. Just does it for the thrill. I don't think I'll be able to fall asleep alone tonight. Well, who says that you have to fall asleep alone tonight? Give me an hour to get ready for you. I give him half an hour.
there never was a husband, was there? It was you. <laughs> better looking than the rest.